An update tonight on a deadly hit and run. A driver is facing additional charges after new evidence shows he was at fault in a multi car crash. And local 10 Janine Stan with us live now at Homestead with what detectives are now saying. Janine. Detectives say they have new video and they say it is clear the victim lived here in Homestead with his family. We spoke to them tonight. And I'm just waiting to see how justice will be served. This fatal hit and run crash on Labor Day killed 29 year old Junior Eugene, injured a woman, and police say the third driver involved fled the scene. Initially, detectives said Eugene was at fault. Now, Miami police say dash cam video from the woman's car shows otherwise. It's, it's a sign of relief for me. I, yes, he's not here, but. It was it was hurting me saying that, oh, he ran a red light, he ran a red light, he ran a red light. I'm just happy, like I said before, I'm just happy that this video gets to clear clear his name. Now he can't. Earlier in the week, this tightly knit family was inconsolable. They say Eugene was working an overnight shift at his security job and on his way home. But at Southwest 8th Street and Lejeune Road, he collided into a Chevy Tahoe driven by Gilbert Caro, a Venezuelan politician who police say ran off. The first degree felony. Caro was charged with fleeing and has since bonded out of jail. But Miami police say he's the one who ran the red light, not Eugene, whose family continues to hold vigil at their homestead home. Now we're just happy we have a lot of support around us to keep us going. We spoke to Caro's attorney. He tells us he's withholding comment for now since he hasn't seen the video nor spoken to police. Police do tell us, though, that charges for Caro are forthcoming. We'll stay tuned. We're in Homestead. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.